Hello and welcome to the E4Clicks Project Estimator Training video. In this video, we're going to check out how to add custom modifiers and ad select adjustment items from our standard RS Means Guides. Okay, so we're going to look through there, kind of see what we got going on. Okay, so our standard RS Means Guides represent the physical books. So when we look into an RS means guide, and we'll sw swing over here to E4 clicks, and we'll see that we've jumped directly into a guide here, in this case, the 2016 RS means building construction. If you can't remember exactly how to get to here, please check out our other videos. But when we open up a standard guide, what we see is what we would see if we opened up a physical book. So we would see, in this case, sheet carpeting, where we'd have all of our line items here, and then what we would see at the beginning of a section or the bottom of a section, as in this case, or even sometimes at the beginning of an entire division, is a list of modifiers. And reading through the notes and getting familiar with RS means you'll know which line items that these modifiers uh, may apply to. So in this case, for the sheet carpeting here, these line items down here are different modifiers that would take these prices up or down based on the situation in which they're installed. Okay, so here we can see that the modifiers, you could kind of quickly glance at them and tell. So they're uh, highlighted with a back gray, back ground is gray. You can see that the text is, is italicized there. So you can see a little italicized to kind of make them a little bit different. And that you'll notice that there's no check boxes. So you can't tag or add these like you would a normal RS means item. Okay, so that's kind of how to identify which items are normal RS means items and which items are modifiers. Okay, we'll also see that some modifiers are straight up dollar values. So just like you normally see our line items that per unit of measure each line item is associated with a dollar amount. Could have material associated with it, labor, equipment, or maybe even a total only. There's also some that are percentages, just like we would see in some of the other line items that RS means. Okay, like this one is 25% of the material cost. You could also have a percentage of the labor, percentage of the equipment, or maybe a percentage of the total only. Okay, so those are kind of how, how to identify the modifiers and kind of what they look like and how they're going to act a little bit. So let's w walk through some examples and see how it goes. All right. Now, as we alluded to at the beginning of this video, there are two ways to add in modifier items. Okay. One is directly from the book. We're going to add it in as a custom modifier. So we'll see the difference between a custom and a standard RS means line item there. And then we'll also see, once we leave the guide, we'll try to give you some cool tools as E4 clicks here. Um, and we're just going to call them adjustments. So we're going to adjust that line item. Um, so we're going to see how to add in adjustment items, okay? So basically the same information, the same dollar amount, just a couple different ways to get to it, okay? So let's go ahead and add in a parent item. Now, when I say parent, we're talking about the main RS means line item, and if I call a modifier, I might call it a child item, okay? So each of the children would go with the parent because the parent controls it, as we can see. Um, if the material was 25%, obviously, parent's material is going to control the value of the child or the modifiers percent. So that's just the way we call it here in E4 clicks. So let's go ahead and add in some carpeting here. So let's get some carpet, commercial grade, direct cement, wool pattern, 48 ounce, heavy traffic, nylon carpeting, all right, or wool carpeting here. So let's double click on this and let's put in a little takeoff formula. So let's say it's 25 by 30. Now, I'm thinking in square feet instead of square yards. So I'm going to come up to the unit of measure here, double click there, and I'm going to put in a conversion. So I'm thinking in square feet when we're doing our measurements, okay? So 750 square feet is going to give us those 83 and change square yards. Now, if we remember, we're going to put in that top modifier there that's 25% of the material of the parent line item. So let's come over here. And so I'm just going to remember this value, $8,333.33 as the material value that I'm going to use for that modifier. So we click OK. And I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to right click here to see our menu options. And we're going to see, because it doesn't have 
a checkbox over here. We can't add this or tag that to paste it in. We're going to have to go and create it as a custom line item. So we'll click on that. Custom means all of these fields are now open for us to edit. Okay, so instead of being straight from 2016 RS means building instruction, we can see that it's a custom line item coming from there. Okay, so we're just going to treat it a little bit differently, and because it's custom, we're just going to um, uh, we're going to print it a little bit different. We're going to associate it just a little bit different. We'll kind of point those things out. All right, now if you're awesome like me, and we can remember the value there. Right? We're going to see that we're just going to put that 8,000 and change into the value amount. We'll get 25% of that as we were, uh, like we thought we would. And then we get an extended value of $2,083.33. Hopefully that kind of makes sense a little bit. So, boom, there we went in. So we were less than, less than 1,500 square feet, less than a full roll. So we paid a premium for the carpet. Let's go ahead and put in one of those that has just a dollar value, all right? So here's for carpet baseboard, okay? So now this doesn't care about the parent value so much. This cares about only the linear feet that we're going to put in. So let's right-click again, come up to create custom line item, and let's put in the takeoff formula. So 25 plus 25 plus 30 plus 30 gives us 110 linear feet. We can see that, boom, boom, there's the material and labor for that, and I get a total of 460 and 90 cents. Click OK. Now those two items have been added to the book. Okay, so let's just jump back there and, and check it out. I want to show you a couple of things again with this first way to put in modifiers as custom items and then we'll look at that second way to add them as adjustment items. Okay, so we come back into the our estimate here and we can see our parent item there. We can see it's a 2016 RS means item and then we see these two are custom items from the 2016 RS means. All right, so I'm just going to show you we have some filtering buttons down here to see where our line items have come from. So if we click on RS means, there's the ones that are directly from RS means. If we come over here to custom, we can see the ones that may or may not have been changed from RS means. Okay, so customizing allows us the ability to change. So whether we change it or not, we track it as a custom item because you could. I'm going to swing back over here to all so we can kind of look at this. But we can kind of see up here that we put in the carpeting and got our 83 square yards. Again, that was a conversion from the 750 square feet from our math there. And we have our two custom items. So, bada bing, we would be done. We would have our parent item and then we would have our two custom items as modifiers so we could have our um, fully priced out carpeting because we knew those two things um, needed to be done. Now I want to show you the second way so before I do that I just want to bold these two custom items here so we can kind of see the difference because when we add in our adjustments it's going to look very similar. So I just want to have a little bit of a difference there. So I'm going to go over here I'm going to use our little toolbar icon and bold those. I could have used control B to bold them. I could have even used our right click menu option and gone for there. Okay so the second option is, if we'd come here to the book, I'm going to hit Control o to open the book right to our line item here. If we'd gone and found our 48-ounce carpeting here, we could have added it, just like we did earlier. But instead of doing our work here in the RS Means Guide, we could then escape out of here, and we would have our line item sitting right in front of us here, just like before. What we notice here when we look at it is this has, maybe this has seven adjustment items. Okay? So, we looked through RS means there and looked at all those modifiers and what we did was we tried to go, okay, this line item may have seven different uh, modifiers that you might want to do that to adjust the line item. Now that you're out of the guide and working in your estimate, let's allow you to add those adjustments to get those modifiers in there. Okay, So to do that, what we can do is we've kind of no denoted it there for you. Now you can use our cool tool. So if we right click go down to line item tools our top option there says select line item adjustments okay to get those modifiers now what happens is we get to selecting adjustments for this line item and we can see they're listed out there and they're going to look familiar to us because again we're trying to get those um, easy easily to get there for you I'm going to hit control U to untag those all of those because they come in all tagged and we can look through and evaluate each one of these to see if we want it or not Okay, so I'm going to do this 
And let's go ahead and do this same two modifiers. So I'm going to tag the less than a full roll. And I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to do the carpet baseboard as well, but I'm going to do it wrong. Okay, because I'm going to show you a couple different options that we have. Okay, so I'm going to tag that one too. I'm going to bring both of these in at the same time. Now when we right click, we're going to see that we have two options. We can select the tagged adjustments and we can inherit the parent properties, give us the quantity, take off the notes, or we could select the tagged adjustments without bringing in any of the information from the parents. Okay, so we have in uh, zero quantity, blank takeoff and blank notes. Okay, so here I'm going to inherit the parent properties and this is where my error is going to occur. There's no good linear foot to square yard unit of measure conversion, so it's going to be an error. Let's see if E4Clicks catches it for us. So right click, select with inheriting the parent properties, and boom, we get the two new line items, right? So here we see the uh, less than a full roll. We see that it's going to use the same takeoff here for us, do the same conversion for us to get us the 83 and change square yards and give us the resulting value that we expected. Okay? It worked just like we thought it would. However, the second one here, it was linear footed, right? And so there was no, it brought in the takeoff formula. It did exactly what we said we wanted it to do. But then, there's, because there's no linear feet to square yard takeoff, or unit of, unit of conversion formula, it said, hey, I did what you said, but I think we did it wrong. So I put up the error icon over here, all right? And obviously, we don't want that 750 linear footage. We want to go the perimeter of the room, not the area. So let's delete this out. So I'm going to highlight it here, hit the delete key, and delete that, delete that out. Let's go back up to our adjustment item. And again, we want to use our cool tool to select adjustments off of here. So let's right click. Let's go to line item tools and let's select the line item adjustment. Again, I'm going to hit control U to untag them all. Come down here to the carpet baseboard, tag that. I'm using the space bar. We could always just check it as well. And now I'm going to right click and let's use the second option. We want to select the tagged adjustment not inherit any of the parent properties. We just want to bring them in with zero. So we'll collect that, come down here, and we can see that there's no takeoff this time, right? There's no quantity. All right, so what we're going to do is actually come into this line item now, and we'll put in the takeoff formula ourselves. So 25 plus 25 plus 30 plus 30, and that'll give us the 110 linear feet just like we thought, and we'd be golden. Now, we can take a quick second here and look. We can notice that when we selected the adjustment this way, it brought it in as an RS means item, and it locked everything down. So it's not treating it as a custom, which is kind of nice for um, printing and different options like that. All right, so let's click OK there. And we can see, again, we get the same result that we were thinking we would get, right? So those are kind of the two ways to um, get your modifier items from ours means into your estimate okay one is to grab the modifier directly from ours means and it'll come in as a custom the second way is to use the cool e4 clicks tool to look at the line item inside of our estimate and then go out and bring in those adjustment items um, and the cool thing is the results are the same the dollar values are the same so Hopefully, that gives you an idea of how to get those modifiers in there, how to identify them, what they are, and then how to bring them into your estimate to get your total pricing. All right? Well, we hope you enjoyed this E4Clicks Project Estimator training video. If you have any questions on this or any of the others, please give us a holler, um, and please look through the other training videos to give you some other pointers and tips and that kind of stuff. We hope you enjoy this. You have a wonderful and fantastic day. Thanks so much.